Hello again. So I am in Jamovi and I'm using the narcissistic personality inventory data as an example. Um, so just as a quick reminder, we have our participant variable here. So we have 10 participants and it's set as a participant um, ID. So it's set as an ID there. It's an integer. So I left that. I didn't add a description, but I could. Um, and then we have these um, NPI questions and they're labeled from one to 20 or 40. Man, I forgot there's so many in that. So um, for this one, this video, I just wanna quickly show you um, a fast way to apply changes to your variable. Um, so again, we're not doing syntax yet, but I have selected my column one. And then if I click shift, and I select my last column. Notice that I have multiple data variables. I can change them all at the, in, the same time. Isn't that fabulous? Um, so they are integers, but they are, um, they're a special kind of nominal. So these are called binary variables because they're yes, no. What I actually want to change is I want to change what the levels are. And I don't want to have to do it for 40 individual variables. And I don't want to show you a syntax because we're not there yet. So I'm going to call my zero is no because there's um, none of that response, right? And then one is yes. So that's a that's a common way to label yes, no questions. Um, so we have zero for no, yes is one. It is still nominal. Um, and uh, we'll, we'll talk about that in class. But now notice that I changed it for one, uh, one time and it did it for all of them. Isn't that wonderful? Um, you could also do that for the measure type. So if you had a different variable and it was ordinal, notice they all changed. So I'm gonna leave it on nominal. And that is the end of this very quick video.